Hello out there to the two people who seem to always watch my videos or the ten people who sometimes watch the twenty people who sometimes watch a few seconds or a few minutes the other few people who watch and um, some of my videos continue to get views so Potentially, I could be saying hello to the whole world. Potentially. And if I've named the subject of this video what I intend to, then, um, you know, it's pretty big headed of me, I suppose. But I feel I want to do it. <clears throat> And I don't want to be PC at all, I want to be completely straight. Sorry, I've got something in my teeth. Um, something was telling me today was going to be a big day. In some way. And there were things going on, potentially... That made me think could be that, and but apart from the solar eclipse and everything, nothing's happening. <laughs> apart from this looming idea I've got to make a video, and what I want to make it about. <clears throat> And to be honest, my intention is to help people. Because I I know the inevitable of what's coming. And um I know what people are going to face when they face judgment day. How do I know this? Well, I've I had my own Judgment Day. And in fact, when Judgment Day comes for you, it will be your own individual day. It won't necessarily be everybody at the same time, although that could happen if there are sort of mass deaths. Not everybody faces <coughs> Judgment Day when they die, but lots do. Lots go into the spirit world, and it's at that point you would face Judgment Day. Now I say I've faced it in in life. Um, I faced it a few times. Three, I think. The first one was majorly, majorly, majorly stronger than the succeeding two but a judge in fact probably after that I've had many um, in the last six months in fact you know and sometimes I just have to have two weeks worth of judgement I mean <laughs> words are difficult okay especially the English language there are many words in the English language I don't know, and perhaps some of those could help, obviously. But, you know, interpretations for word like God, for example, is is going to be different for everyone. Um, except that there is one truth, and that is that God is our mother and father of our soul. And God is an all-feeling soul. So <clears throat> you have to feel God. So when I say God, my interpretation, what comes in my mind, is different from a lot of other people, different from most people. <coughs> but the reason 
I want to do this video is to is to help people see their errors because if judgment day did come today right now from God and it would there would be <laughs> most people would fail in terms of their heart would 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 fail in the awe of God. Now I have been getting used to it. Well the thing is we're all born with God. We're all cons when we're conceived and our soul is new, it came straight from God. And it's not until you're about one and a half that you take that first step away from God. And hence we have the terrible twos tantrums type thing. And that is the pain when the child can no longer stay on the high level it love high level of love it was on, close to God, because of the errors it wants to do as a result of influence from parents and environment. Then we go further away again in adolescence and um, I'm not sure for myself, I was clinging on a long time and I thought perhaps I'd clung on all the way. If I didn't, I'd probably gone back to that point but I wouldn't say I've gone back to the level of love um, as a child yet at least not permanently, but temporarily, I've been in a higher level of love. And I've, six months ago, I was right back with God. So you look at my previous videos and you'll be able to see. In the last six months, I've been speaking to lots of different people and seeing how lots of peop different people are differently closed to the um, concept of being be able to communicate with God and by communicate I mean feel feel God and know that um, he she is feeling you and God would love for all of us to be in connection with him, her, all the time. And that is the key that six months later, if you like, of not, you know, other things coming into my wondering who my soulmate is, da 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 da. And that, you know, that is, that's the second most important thing you can be thinking about. First is God, then your soulmate, and then other people. And your soulmate and yourself, that would be in the same. Because, you know, we have to look after ourselves before we're in a position to help others. The blind leading the blind does not help. And I come across all preachy, like I know the answers, and I fervently believe that I do, that I have been given the truth by A.J. Miller and that's why I'm confident to put it across in videos my my opinion and um, and I would stand by that now you know, sometimes I say the wrong thing or get something wrong that you know is going to happen but so often it seems I've got things right and also, like, ahead of time, in um, songs that I might have written, um, you know, I, seeing some sort of extra truth in there later on that I didn't fully realise at the time. It's quite cool. So if you watch my last video, my one before this one, uh, it's quite good, actually. Um probably not brilliant, some boring bits perhaps, <laughs> but
but no, some really good music, and um, kind of fits quite well with the video, sort of quite flukily, but interesting. Whereas this video is just going to be me talking, um, so yeah, I hope not to make too many annoying pauses, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Take the wheat with the chaff. <laughs> Separating it is often just too difficult. You've got to do that in your in your belief system, and you will, you see. But um, unfortunate if your belief system is wrong. And this is what's happening when I'm talking to people about God. And I'm here coming from a point of view that, you know, I I am being with God you know maybe not a hundred percent but feeling definitely and you know visions certainly come in and it's is but it is helped by the cannabis and the way that works is I could get I could get high and then I could go and play a game on the computer upstairs, right? There's, there's me no benefit whatsoever. I might just enjoy it a little more, get more into it. So it's not just smoking cannabis. And over this last six months, I've been doing this: smoke some cannabis, give up, smoke some, give up. And usually it's about ten days off and a few days on. Although just recently I did have a period with a month and a half on and then a week off. But it wasn't very strong stuff. So, But anyway, it became a burden. And it's like God's way of teaching. You have to explore every possibility so that you can be sure that there's only one answer. And this is part of the learning. <clears throat> and then another time you may be able to feel the right answer. But you had to explore every possibility to know that you had only felt one correct answer. I've been having a lot of feelings in the last six months and not all of them have been God. And they, a few of them sort of fooled me earlier on. But all the feelings are different. And when it's God, I know it's God. So it it is it is I don't it is difficult to convince you here listening that that that's the case. But what I've learned to do is trust in my emotions, and that's what I recommend you should do too. And believe me when I say this to you, we're, we're all in denial that we're not receiving God's love. That is a denial we're in. We deny that it exists to deny this. But we all did this. But it wasn't really our fault. It was the our parents and the environment and for our parents it was their parents in the environment at that time and so on and so forth so there's a lot that can be wrong with you without it necessarily being any of your fault but we will have all done things in our life in fact most of the problems you get in your life will be your own cause your own fault And we're in these days, and I think the world is getting better. I think I think we turned a corner, but it's a long journey. And if we turned that corner in late 2012, if you like, you know, maybe we're not going to be good again for another 50 years. 
and hopefully a big war can be avoided. But anyway, Judgment Day, March 20th, 2015, this is Judgment Day. What do I mean by that? Well, if... Like I said, I want to help you feel God. And you're not going to feel God if you're continuously doing something which blocks God. So, God is loving you all the time. And you are blocking God all the time. Now the most common thing for this, and probably for everybody nearly, <clears throat> is your belief system. If you have the wrong belief system, you're not going to feel God. Because your belief system on God, obviously <laughs> is going to affect that sort of that passage that openness to God and because God is so awesomely powerful any time you get near the feeling of God and you have these errors in your belief system it's going to cause such a strong negative emotion mainly fear that um, you're going to go stop it straight away so the key is to let the truth in first now <clears throat> many different people have different feelings so there isn't like just one answer well there is but it's not going to get through but I'll just say it quickly briefly so God is this supreme being, an all-feeling soul with both male and female parts. He, she created all of our souls and the universe. The universe has its rules, <clears throat> and our souls have their rules too. And the rule is to choose to love, <laughs> if you like, in its simplistic form. You could say there's only one law, to choose to love. But there are there are more laws, but there's you know truth and love and um, and you know you get what you give and karma and all that sort of stuff. Just like in the universe, they're unbendable. You cannot change them. They are there, and this is good because this gives us a rock, a rock on which we can base our faith on because yes you still do need a pinch of faith but once you have the truth you only need a pinch to get there <clears throat> so without and uh, this so this so this supreme being is our parents and we have this universe so that we can experience because us souls, most of us, 99.999% of us here, including me were have been in an incarnated state since God made our souls and he made our souls at the same time as he made the first human souls all the humans, all the souls were made at the same time we've been sitting in an incarnated state until we got our turn or chose or to come when we wanted to come and from that point the only way we've our soul has been able to learn is through our experiences in life and because when we were born our parents didn't say to us right there is a God is an invisible God you can only feel him her and we are just your guardians while you're here on earth or until you've grown up into an adult 
but we are not the parent of your soul, that is God. Now if parents had been drumming that into their kids as they grew up, then there wouldn't have been terrible twos. And, well, this is one day. <clears throat> We're going to have this. Um, but no, parents bring up their children in a myriad of different ways, and mainly it's based on the upbringing they themselves got. I myself was a parent for several years before I heard about these truths and fixed my belief system in order that I could start feeling God. Um, as I say, I mean, I, I got close before um, in my late teens and this was kind of when I had my first judgement. It was a judgement of yourself. You, you, um, you remember all your bad bits first. Suddenly you're open to God. And that's what I was doing back then. I was opening myself to God. I was letting God see me for everything everything that I am and when I felt it it was it was powerful it was scary it was the point of thinking I should put myself into a mental hospital I thought I was on the urge of that on the brink of that and that kind of stayed with me and the next time I was doing it this 19 years later nearly I um I thought about that and I thought, you know, what what is someone who's mentally ill, you know? What is it exactly? And they lock them up in those rooms and they drug them and stuff. And I started to work out that probably some of these people were getting on the verge of feeling God and got scared shitless. And and, and society doesn't understand it, so they lock them up. Or or they get that feeling of society that there must be something wrong with them and then they believe wrongly that there's something wrong with them um, when it goes violent you know there's something else that's people not being able to control their rage right so where are we going with this how are we going to judge the world what classes should we put them in I did write down a few things <clears throat> so the first one that we're all guilty of that denial that we're blocking God's love and um, I've come to that conclusion now that I'm doing it so I'm not in denial on that anymore but I will have moments when I go into denial about it perhaps while I do something else or at least that's possible I know for one smoking a fag but now when I've started smoking a fag half the time I think I'm doing this for it's horrible so it is changing so I've still got some some way to go way to go on that um, But yeah, sorry to say, I am, <laughs> I am a little bit ahead of most of you. Right? <clears throat> Let's talk about groups. Why does somebody want to be in a group of people? Well, it must be that they feel a bit vulnerable on their own. And when they're in a group, they feel stronger. Now let me just say this as well, and I want to try and write it down, because we know the answer to every possible, sincere question we may have. You know the answer to anything, everything you, should, you could possibly ask. Who is my soulmate? What is God? 
uh, you know, how many Chinese people in China? That would be a difficult answer. Emotional things. Is my dad in heaven? Is he there? Um, what spirits are around me now? <clears throat> what do they feel about me? What does my mum feel about me? These are questions that if we ask ourselves we can we can know the answer. Now, if the answer is frustrating you or not coming, it's because the answer is something you want to deny. And I was doing this the other night, and I was thinking about the spirits around me. And I was thinking about my mother's mother, and... You know, I wanted to deny that she might not like me. So I couldn't see her there not liking me, because that was the fact. I may have changed now, because we've had a chat. And when I say we've had a chat, you know, I've... What I do in those situations... that things that came into my mind so suddenly when I allowed that possibility I saw her straight away sort of <laughs> angry face towards me in a way and then you know so I and I see the thing to do is to when you interact with someone is to feel what they're sending towards you and then respond with love that is always the best thing to do and it didn't come difficult, but I do have love for her. And she may have interpreted our interactions when I was a child differently to, to how they were meant. Because remember, as children, we're in a higher state of love. And adults don't always get it, and they often take offence to what a child does when the child was really being very good. So... That's how you can deny yourself the answer, because you don't want that answer. You know, you have to experiment with this gradually over time and slowly become more in tune. <laughs> now, I know for a fact that black tea will stop you becoming spiritual, because you won't be able to sit long enough doing nothing become restless and your mind isn't as keen after black tea <clears throat> coffee should probably be avoided as well because it's a stimulant and and any other stimulant and um, obviously I must seem like a major hypocrite because I'm I'm about to roll up a joint <laughs> and smoke it and you may see a a little difference. It won't be a big difference because I've um because I've already had some today. <laughs> Get it on I was really in two minds should I make this video. You know if you're easily offended probably you should probably not listen. If 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 it's going to make you angry, I don't want to make anyone angry. Because um, anger isn't positive. If you're angry, it's because you're you're not getting something you want. And believe me, God's love is better than anything. It'd be better than sex. It's better than drugs. Better than us kissing somebody else. It's better than all that. Yeah, you know, us kissing somebody, any human, is is an error, and it's gonna it's gonna block your connection with God. 
because we're we're all children of God, so in that sense we're all equal. Now some of us will be in higher state of love than others, and those people should be should look up to them because um, you'd actually want to be there where they are. And the people who are lower levels of love, you you know, you should feel some sort of pity for them because you know you wouldn't want to be there. Um, but yeah, so there's only you know the main hierarchy. Like the main difference is between God and us. You know, it's, it's going to be colossal, ginormous, massive. So, some words my son used in some something he wrote. <laughs> He's a good little writer. Right, so groups. I'm going to talk about groups. So what sort of groups are there out there? Well, I mean, I go to Aikido every week. And um, I went to, I've went been to a couple of fitness classes. I quite enjoyed that. I quite enjoyed doing the fitness with other people. Although I'd much rather if it was outside. But I really enjoyed the sauna afterwards. But it's not very regular. But the Aikido I go to every week. Okay, so I'm in an Aikido group. But that's for two hours a week. Right? And I bow to the sensei and I bow to the picture of the guy who started Aikido. But I know, you know, there's only one I serve and that's God. So for those two hours a week, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm in some sort of error. But, uh, A minor, a minor thing. As soon as I'm out of there, you know, and even while I'm in there, God is the main one <coughs> in my mind. I may do the actions, you know. Okay. But apart from that, um, I'm not in any groups now. I used to be in a band. Um, been in a couple of bands and made some music, which which was good, it was fun. And. Um, Yeah, but I'm not. I'm no longer in any polit politic political party. I'm not um, with any church. I'm not with any group. I am an individual. And an individual is what you should be. And if you don't feel powerful as an individual, well, there again is another error. Because your soul, which you are kind of half owner of, because you have a soul there, um, your soul is as powerful as the sun. Certainly, potentially, if it hasn't degraded too much. And um, there's a few ways you can find out the state of your soul. And remember, the soul is you. You are the soul. Um, the bit of you which wants to last forever. And will. Is the soul. And um, that lasting forever bit is um, is kind of it's on on the same level with God's love. There is no reason God would hold back love from you at or eternal life for your soul. But w the way I've been told, it is still a gift. So. In a sense, it can't be demanded. And there's a subtle difference between demanded and desired. <laughs> demanded sort of suggests some sort of ownership, some sort of entitlement. And there isn't the entitlement, but there is the 
the offer of a gift. So you kind of, um, yeah, I mean, you kind of, um, do. I mean, I had a, a, a breakthrough the other day in, in sort of succeeding in, in receiving God's love. Like I say, it's being offered all the time, it's just us who block it. By comparing the... See, now, when I want a cigarette, I think I want a cigarette, but there's a feeling inside me which wants to smoke, or wants a cigarette. And that, in a sense, is the same want that... In fact, the original want was for God's love. Because that's what we had. And when it went away, when we blocked it the first time, we didn't understand why. We hadn't been educated by our parents properly. And we didn't really have the, the brain capacity, analytic skills at the time to truly know why. Or... Or, in fact, what the fuck was going on at all. So, I've lost where I am now. Yes, so, to want God's love, because you have to want it. You have to want it f f f to, to, to let it in. Right? So it's at the door. God's eternal patience is constantly ringing the doorbell. I like, that. I like that. And all you have to do is open the door <laughs> and let God in. And then you have to receive it. You have to know how to feel it. So, we've got three boundaries for you lot to open up. And the first one, which some of you may have opened up, is the gates. That's your belief system. Get the truth, okay? If you don't know where to get it yet, it's divinetruth.com. AJ Miller. He's the one dishing out the truth. Next bit, we open the door. That is, in a sense, kind of your humility. Once you've got your fully understanding of God, you realise what errors you've been making all your life in closing that door so you're going to feel an idiot that the best thing has been on offer all the time and then you've got to receive it with love and know what love feels like and when it comes from God it's you know, you can have it just as much as you could ever wish for. As much as you could ever wish for. I mean, now I know the truth. And when I finished this cannabis... You see, the cannabis makes it stronger. It, make, it opens up that hole. So all the time there's the hole there. But because of my state of soul, <clears throat> I've degraded as I've got older. And I, let's say I'm in sphere two or something. Um, and I can open it that much. Cannabis is a completely non-toxic drug. There's no toxins in there. 
the Labour government, when they were in power, got someone to do tests on it. Professor Nutt. Shame. Poor name. He, he was the one who came out and said, you know, there's no reason to make this illegal. It's much better for you than alcohol. There's no toxins in it whatsoever. So when this, this raises your levels of love, now if you've still got incorrect beliefs, you're going to hit a ceiling. And that would be fear. That, that You're going to hit some fear of the wrong beliefs. And that's what I've been doing for quite a long time. Also, the gaps are important. Because the gaps get you back down to your real level. And then when you have a smoke, you can get high enough. And once you get high, if it's only... You st I mean, I stay with God until I close the door again and over the last six months you know I've been doing that and I've only just realized so this time it's like I've been staying high so you ask me why I smoke another one I want to get a little bit higher but it won't get me that well you'll see I'm only condoning cannabis use. I believe it's here as a tool to get to God because as a result of all our previous generations we've had to go through a childhood and a growing up which has taken us <coughs> 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 away from God made this one quite strong so it's here to to enable us to see the truth again feel, feel it to feel it they always say about feelings I meant to say yeah I was talking about the first I sort of judged myself when I was about 19 and then um, I went through a year of like just thinking, you know, I was probably mad and I had to get away from that. It, it shocked me so much. And um, I went to Norway and I went in the army. And, and it was before I went in the army that I had three hours to wait for a train. And I'd done long waiting before in Africa, five, six hours wait, you know, for things. So I lay on the bench and I just relaxed and suddenly I felt like this hand on my head. Like and it was nice, really nice. Just a sort of really nice sort of. And it was amazing and I really enjoyed it. And I think it started to go deeper and I thought, sort of, oh, but what was that? That was cool. And then that night, again, I had it, and I was sort of starting to let it, and then when I thought it was going to go into the centre of my brain, I just sort of shook it off. And then I went in the army, and... And I can't remember how often I got it again, but not very often. But gradually, over the years, I've allowed more and more of that. And when I was listening to the Divine Truth, A.J. Miller, I... And he was talking about the soul and how the soul has got organs as well. And you've got other top, you've got the mind, which is the intellect, which is the smallest organ. Now, I think that's, in a sense, what I was feeling then was my part of my soul, that part of my soul. It never went into my body. And, um, and then as he was talking about the humility, and I imagine like this area here and like the humility to, to feel God without sniggering or thinking it, you know, or anything like that. Or thinking that you're, see, if you're too arrogant you wouldn't get it. In the first videos I made about 
doing this, you can see my arrogance on my face, like a facade. And, and, and once I felt that, then I got some of God's love. And um, just the other night, I had some other sort of expression. It was like a baby crying, like that. And it was really strong here. And then once I've gone through and felt that, then I got some of God's love. And I was able to just feel again like being with God. Um, kind of lost my point again. Probably can't remember what I was talking about either. <laughs> Groups. No, that was a long time ago. Um, God, I really do go off on tangents. I, I can understand why people lose it watching my videos. And turn it off. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> but I usually do keep a track. And, um, you know... I watch every video I make and I see how I do end up connecting so you do have to watch all of it you do have to hear every word and this could be a long one I'm a bit bored Bored of my voice. Right, so I, so I'm sorry. I, I lost track then. I mean, <clears throat> right. So basically, what I was talking about was the cannabis, wasn't it? Okay, this wasn't why I made this video. I like this little break because honestly, I don't smoke all the time, right? This is. I mean, when you're making a video like this, you need to be either, either very stupid, very brave, or very sure. And I am very sure about God. And Every time I hear someone who doesn't believe in God, I am very sure that it is definitely to their detriment that they don't. And if there's one thing people should really devote a lot of time towards, it should be thinking about God. But people have been put off. People have been put off by the church, I went into a place, I went past this place in Banbury, it's called the People's Church, and I've seen the sign a few times, I thought, I'm going to go in and see what they're about. And I was walking in and sort of saying, Jesus is the way, follow the way to Jesus, and I agree with what Jesus taught. The Gospel is Jesus' teachings, and they are spot on. And remember, he says, Our Father. So anyway, like, and I get to the door and there's this thing saying food bank between 10 and 12 and I thought, bet they'll think I'm here for the food bank. So I ring the bell. Anyway, eventually this woman opens the door. Hello, can I help? I said, well, yeah, I was just uh, curious really about what this sort of church stands for. I mean, what do you believe in us? She wasn't really asking us. Like, I said, you don't believe Jesus is God, do you? And she goes, yes, that's what we believe. All right, okay then, thank you. So, do you know what I mean? These religions get it wrong. And that puts people off. And people then are too scared to believe anything else or to allow themselves to believe anything else because they don't want that feeling of having thought it was true and then realising through, like, looking into what they believe that bollocks that isn't true. You see, the, the essence is the that, that God. Put God there and suddenly you have a truth. There is a God. 
And that's why people who make the error of worshipping a book or any deviant of that book based being based on religion and, and getting wrong teaching errors, preaching errors. I still think they're in a they're in a better place than those who have gone completely non belief. <laughs> because particularly they are the non beliefs are those who would say my knowledge just comes from science. If it's not written in some scientific journal, I'm not taking it in. The existence of God isn't written in a scientific journal as such, so they're not taking it in. They believe in the universe because they can see it. They believe in all the science, they can see all that. They're still just waiting, any, you know, any question left, they're just waiting for the scientists to, to come up with an answer. And what scientists tend to do, they can't, tend to say they think is one thing, and they get more and more information, and then, boom, no, now we're saying it's completely the other thing. And this happens in all areas of science, at, at, at the, the brinks of science, so it's good that we are understand more and more otherwise we would never have come up with aerodynamics you know and that is cool so or the wheel right so that is good but when they don't know they should just say they don't know instead of making the strongest hypothesis out of the information they've got in a sense they're just sort of guessing and they usually well I suppose probably you get they get probably 50 50 you know sometimes they guess right and sometimes they guess wrong so you really shouldn't be basing your truth on what are essentially our guesses when it comes to the the unknowns and there's still as many unknowns because everything they learn just <coughs> creates more questions just complicates it you know they can't find the smallest thing in the universe well, how can they I suppose the electron, the proton I thought there was a string after that yeah there is isn't there? you know and then you know, they can't find the end either. The reason that these, well, this group, non-believers, bothers me so much is that they, they seem closed off to feeling. Now, I was, I wasn't closed off to feeling. But I was practically for a while, you know, no emotion, like Spock or something. And that may seem good, that because you don't want those torrents of awful emotional feelings, and they're mainly awful when you suppress them. And, it, and mo the thing is, most people haven't tried anything else. But when you suppress them, they don't go away. They stay there, waiting to come back. And they're not going to get weaker. They're only going to get worse. Unless you start to feel. And as soon as you do feel it, especially if you believe in God, because then you have God, you know, when you have when you're feeling these emotions like and you've got God God is like saying this this is the best thing you can be doing right now ever now's the time now is usually the time
ਪੀ ਲੈਣੀ ਦੀ ਉਸ ਫੀਲਿੰਗ ਆਈ ਡਿਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਸਮ ਆਫ ਮਾਈ ਫੀਲਿੰਗਸ ਇਸ ਸਮਟਾਈਮਸ ਦਿਸ ਬੀਨ ਅ ਸਰਵ ਅ ਜਸਟ ਅਨ ਇੰਜੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਲਸ਼ਨਸ sometimes it's been like that sometimes i feel like i had my face nearly pulled off sometimes i felt pressure here their spirits a heaviness is sometimes the power of your own soul and it's only heavy because you're not fully in control yet and god was so made feeling like a amazing strong connection but i'm not fully <clears throat> I haven't experienced that enough yet. Was too new. I haven't had night sleep on it. Too much, too many. Enough. A night sleep on something on things is good. <laughs> I I often come up with the wrong conclusions, but it's how you learn. You sort of come up with a conclusion in your mind and you push it and you push it until it either goes speeding down the hill or it breaks and it's the speeding down the hill one that's you know that's a truth locked in there that was that was correct yep and some of them crumble when you push them when you probe them they're not rock solid but the feeling from god god is everywhere god can do anything you close your eyes and you play with god <laughs> unhindered imagination is god is it when it's unhindered who is in control subconscious well, who's that and you can have spirit influences but that's not imagination unhindered you're going to see what you're afraid to see face it ask god why It's got the answer for you. You'll feel it more than you'll hear it. Because God isn't going to speak to you in, in words like that. But you may imagine somebody saying something. Now that could be God doing that. It depends if your imagination is unhindered or not. Now, how do you do that? Well, you know when you're forcing it. Now, has anyone ever put anything in my imagination before? Yes, I believe they have. I believe if you get a flash of a vision, you will also get information of someone it's been directed from. Uh, most recently I had a flash of a vision and I got the sense it was from an Indian boy. and then there was another time in africa when there were these 
two people from Israel visiting the mud hut where I was staying and I got a flash of a vision and I really felt it was from the girl the Israeli girl so when you get something like that and that's been rare in my life that I've got stuff like that I think there really has to be a a good connection for that I'm not sure I'd have to think about if I've had stuff like that from spirits I don't nothing comes to mind so that imagination that faint reddish you know and it changes and suddenly you see a face or suddenly you just see something right allow it be brave be faithful get to know that God is a, a just so full of love for us we is her children every single one of us we need to see that we really do and some people won't some people will go a hundred thousand years and they won't see it. <sighs> In a sense, are they the independent ones? arrogant ones independent see I just wrote that under groups I don't think I meant that service to others is wrong you shouldn't be serving any master now I'm actually just about to go and get a job which is a charity but funded by the government <clears throat> it's part time 16 hours a week who knows the system is curious maybe I will be working for God and therefore <laughs> it's interesting the system I used to see it as evil, but I think God is almost in control of that too. It seems to be these days. Things are happening. It's good. <clears throat> I mean, I'd say the people who don't believe and are angry. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I shouldn't have written this. Plan it out. <coughs> Right, they've all turned off. <clears throat> no one left. Possibly. Could there be anyone who just sat through all that? No way. I watch this back, I'll cringe. I'll cringe at this bit. This is probably when I would have got out my guitar. It's all it's the pressure. And it's the pressure isn't nice, is it? it should be pressure on anyone.
Oh, it's... You know... I think the only people who understand are the people who have been touched by it. And in a sense, you're already saved. So, no point, in a sense, preaching much to you. God will be doing his things with you. But it's, it's the other ones. And there's... There's people I love very much in that camp. All right, let's look at the um, let's look at the love of earthly things. I mean, this is where you've got everyone. Okay, love of earthly things: sex, money, drugs, food. So, those things. Thinking about those things will keep you away from God. Now, how many of you want to go with God when you're not going to be able to have sex, money, power, drugs and food? Because God's love is so good. These things just... Alright, even the drugs. I cannot carry on smoking this for more than a few days. Because then, it doesn't do it anymore. <laughs> you get me? It doesn't get me where I want to be. I don't get what I want. <laughs> it's what we want, right? We want to get what we want. And what we want is God's love. But you're in denial of that. You deny God. So you're never going to get what you want. Are you? Therefore, you're fucking stupid. Right? But you're not alone. I've been fucking stupid too. We've all been fucking stupid. You want to carry on being fucking stupid? None of these things will satisfy you. There is nothing like God's love. And why is this? God wants us to grow in love. It's what our souls feed on. It's how our souls grow. Grow in love. Love is the answer. And God's got most of it. And that's why we get God's love. We grow. We show in the right way. We learn. There's more to learn that way than anything else. That is infinite learning. You're going to live forever. I'm going to live forever. And <laughs> our brains get freaked out by that. But 
our soul gets freaked out by the alternative. <clears throat> I'm gonna live forever. I'm gonna live forever. And that's what's so awesome, is we are babies. We as us on earth, we're babies. Those in the spirit world, well, some of them are toddlers, some of them are youths. <laughs> They're all 25. Mind you, I was thinking, when I was 25, I'm not sure I could have grown much of a beard. So if I go back to 25, does that mean my beard will come off? We're not doing spirit world. Well, they're the same. They're the same as us. So when they had all this love of earthly things, sex, money, power, dreams, food, drugs, not dreams. Yeah, they don't get dreams anymore. They don't have to sleep. So they can do it 24 hours a day. They can overcloak you when you're taking drugs or having sex or at a party or at a powerful meeting or scoffing a pizza. They love food. And so they get in their kicks. And that's why more of this is going on. Because there's more spirits in the spirit world who want more of this. And it's keeping everyone from God. It's closing the door on God. But we've been innocent until we've known this so once you know it and then you do it again it's worse for your soul so whereas the truth is a beautiful thing it's also the knocking on the door <laughs> what does that mean it's wake up time when you hear the truth. But I still think it's time to broadcast the truth to all two of the people who might listen to this. But potentially more who may, if they could sit through it all. But I'm not the only one. There's there's lots of people guiding people towards more truth and uh, the closer and closer you get the better it is I believe I stumbled onto somebody who's had access to more than we could have ever wished for really but I believe that's been part of God's plan and this is Jesus, you know, the reason he um, decided to make a Jesus by, in what A.J. Miller says, his feeling was is that God, at the point of Jesus' birth, cleared him of any of the damage usually occurred <coughs> coming from the parents. <coughs> and in those days it was a much more violent world. So probably scarier and more damaged by the earth in the sort of degradation of the soul and, 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 and coming away from God. So that, you know, and, and also all the education was so much more violent and they were actually educated 
how to rape and pillage. <sighs> so, God just did this so that Jesus could live a perfect life, get one with God while he was on earth, have this massive effect on the earth. I mean, I was always a bit anti-Jesus in a way because so many people believed that Jesus was God. That's what I was against. I mean, his prayer starts, Our Father, right? Okay. And, um, sorry. That was to the people's church. I could have said that to them. Anyway, so then Jesus goes into the spirit world that time and helps spirits while ascending levels of love in the spirit world. Because he came in at spirit level 7, which is higher than anyone on earth, on earth had got at that time. I think there were some spirits who had got up before, but then Jesus went through and started opening higher and higher spheres of love. And got to a point where he and his soulmate could become one again. Um... And at that point, you could have said, you know, you could have really, that, at that point, things were really opening up from learning from God. Because <laughs> then you'd be in like, you know, like little baby holding daddy's hand. You'd be in the same form. You'd both be a soul with both halves as one. But God would be like massive, and you'd be like, yeah, but come on, yeah, let's learn now, right? But instead, you waited for seven other pairs of souls to, to reach that level, and decided to, at that point, reincarnate, come back to Earth, and... Spread some more of this, spread, yeah, get this truth about the spirit world and everything and all the laws of the universe, secrets that in a sense have been lost, back onto earth. And uh, I picked them up and, you know, they, they picked up something I'd been doing, you know, this stuff with feeling my head and stuff at night for so many years. And all this stuff with God, and it sort of really straightened out my, because I'd gone to the point of thinking that all our souls together was, was like God, and it was just a perpetuating thing, you know, that would been an ant, would been a fly, and would been a mouse, and you know, we were sort of getting bigger and bigger, and sort of thing, bigger in animals, and that eventually we'd go to other planets, and we'd be like these animals that could go to other planets. <laughs> And then more and more, you know, and fuck knows what at what point turn around and go, oh, that was fun, can we do it again? You know, to something just totally different. Wow, I'm a baby. This is like and and this is all I know. So because all this uh, this is all I know, I don't have to freak out anymore. I think well I I know I've got at least ten thousand years of learning ahead of me. And I'm sure in time you know, I will then start to be able to ask those questions of does God have brothers and sisters? Are there like billions of them as well? And then they had father and mother, soul, sort of thing. And you know, and you sort of try and imagine it in the head. <laughs> but there, there's no need to go that far. It's arrogant. It's, it's, it's like, you want to think about that when come on the next step and and hey look look at the the horizon there you know this is exciting stuff <laughs> this is awesome stuff it's like i can really feel that you know, i've had so many different visions of what my soul could be and stuff but when i when i felt it oh it feels awesome feels awesome. 
There is knowledge in feeling. There is understanding in feeling. You can get, you can get so much more information when you're feeling. Feeling is the key. Right, false god and idol worship. You know, it is wrong because they are not higher than you. Um, and if they were, they would teach you not to worship them and to worship God alone. Because, you know, that is the only direction in true, honest, pure happiness inside that is the way so, yeah, don't worship any other human being, you know especially if it's, for, you know, singing or kicking a football or it is an error and it's the thoughts your thoughts your thoughts are the key because they begin everything so think think dumbass should I read an email? why not? I'm bothered anyway <laughs> just people bitching at each other this is like a comment I started, I don't know, 12 months ago. And I just said, we're all God's children, white, yellow, blah, 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 dot, dot, dot. And there's just been arguments, people calling each other nigger brews. <laughs> and talking really sort of, some of, the, some of the stuff I give Cracker back his book. Shall I read it? I'm a child, but you're spooked out. Stupid ass, believes in silly ass, black god <coughs> that you think is going back through the clouds. F-O-H, whatever that means. Stop coining and give the cracker back his book. As far as nigger brew goes, I made the term up and started calling you clown ass fag hits that. So that's <laughs> WTF, you bozos. Will be now until I say otherwise. NK MBK. Fighting. What is that on there? Anger. This anger is is being projected out in the universe. You see, because when he gets that comment to him, he's like. Uh, going to make him mad, you know. He's like, I'm a this anger out into the universe. And, it, you know, that is in... Ref that's why we're getting in reflection, these earth changes. And I, I think that those words suit best what's been going on now, I think. Earth changes. It just sums it up real well. It's coming from the divine truth, and uh, people who've discounted A.J. Miller so quickly, they do so at their own, at their own will. I probably not. You see, that's the thing. They probably have rejected him through the will of a spirit that has power over them. And I see this now more clearly in people I know. And uh, it's very interesting. Over the last six months, I have learned so much. And all of it, bar guessing who my soulmate was, all of it has been giving me more understanding of the universe and everything and none of it has fallen none of it has been shown to be not not real it's amazing 
power of the soul. Of course, it only has power over other people, and and it can only be it can be employed badly and wrongly, as that's what most people are doing, without realizing it. Getting angry at someone when you're an eternal being for delaying you a few seconds is so wrong. I mean, we worry about time as well. We try and rush time. I did it earlier, and I was, I was in a queue, and I was thinking there was a nice seat outside in the sun. I thought, oh, I don't want anyone to get that seat. And I was like, come on. And I thought, hang on a minute. God controls it all. If you're meant to get that seat, you get that seat. If you don't, you're meant to go and sit somewhere else. I got the seat, and I didn't worry anymore in the queue. And in fact, it's at that point that the queue actually started to move. It's so true. So, uh, you know, most of my judgment would have to go on to people in the West because my experiences of being away from Western civilization would be Africa, India. Both Africa and India obviously had areas that were, and when they were, they were very strongly into the money and the power, you know, quite clear about it, you know, that's what I want. And, you know, didn't give a shit about anyone else. But, you know, the majority of people just sort of living day to day and doing what they're told, you know, very loving people. Very open, spiritual, loving, good people. Um, so, you know, and I see people here in England and they're distracted at best. Distracted. coming and I hope that um, what I said may may help you un or stop making some of these errors and and try for a period of not making any errors and and feel God because he she wants to feel you he she wants you to open the door. Really? Okay. I love you. I love everybody. You know, one of the things after I first sort of thought, shit, you know, this is fraternity. What can, you know, God, that's a long time. What the fuck am I going to do? And I thought, well, there's like Billions of brothers and sisters I could get to know. And when I see one of you in the street and you don't smile at me, or, you know, I, I, I get you. I get you. I can understand you. But it's no excuse. You're going to have to change. You're going to have to choose to love. It's the mistake we kind of all made when we chose not to love. Okay? Okay? 
I can feel you. Can you feel me? Da -da 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 -da. I can feel you. Can you feel me? Ba -ba -ba -ba.